Morning coast and countryside people. It's a nice, uh, reasonably calm day today, so I thought I'd try and do this outside broadcast. I've put the windsock on, but uh, excuse me if there's a bit of wind on the mic, it's very sensitive. Um, we're going to have a look at the uh, the wildflower meadow. This, uh, up until a few years ago, was just the um, plain grass of the campsite. And then, during lockdown, we uh, let it all grow to uh, long grass and cut the whole place for hay. And um, after we'd uh, decided that cutting hay was a, not the thing to do because it was exhausting, uh, we gave all the hay to um, rescue horses. We decided just to leave a small area just for wildflowers and butterflies and moths and all that. And, uh, and this is it. This is dug it over a few years ago to give the poppies a head start, but we didn't get around to doing anything to it last year. So um, this is just uh, what has come up on its own. We'll have a, a little look. I've got to walk this way around, otherwise the shadow of the sun will go on it from me. But uh, as you can see, quite a few different things in there. Uh, teasel is very predominant. Uh, they're very useful for wildlife. The, um, the leaves have uh, little cups in them which catch the uh, rainwater which gives the um, birds something to drink. It hasn't rained for a bit so they're dry at the moment. And the seeds, the uh, finches absolutely love the seeds on the, the things. Uh, they do spread quite well. I've had to um, kill a few off that have got into the main part of the grass. And a little uh, Aaron's rod. A few of those come up, a little hoverfly paying a visit there, which is good. There's been hardly any butterflies and moths this year, it's been awful. Um, but they've just started to pick up now as a few come over from the continent, a few come out of hibernation. Now, this plant is um, a fig work, which uh, normally lives next to rivers and wetlands, and we don't really know where it came from. One appeared a few years ago over by the house. We think maybe the seed was stuck on um, a camper van. One of the customers uh, may have brought it in, may have stayed at a wetland or something. But it's spread all over the place since then. It's, uh, the um, insects seem to love it, so uh, that's one thing. The flowers are very insignificant, and if you can see that very well there. Let's have a look there. Very uh, small little pinky red flowers, but um, but I've seen all sorts of insects on this, so that's, that's a good thing. The uh, hollyhocks just appeared from one of the other beds, they were self-seeded. But uh, yes, they've got some butterflies on them now, which is good. And uh, as we walk round, lesser willow herb, which uh, I'm sure Alan will like that. And we had some foxgloves in there, can see a few there. And... Oh, I've forgotten the name of this white one. I should remember it, but it's gone. Um, here's a, a much better Aaron's rod. Or um, Mullane, I think, is the other name for this one. Uh, it's got a particular moth, a Mullane moth, that uh, hasn't shredded these leaves, but uh, you know it when it's been on, there's no leaves left. And these, the uh, Vipers bug gloss, it's a type of echium. We got a couple of seeds from a plant, um, I think it was down at Deal about five or six years ago. Um, we grew a few plants and then they disappeared and we thought they hadn't um, taken. And then we realised they're biennials, so uh, we didn't see the flowers the following year because they were building up for the, the next year and they've come back this year all over the place. Down on the coast they only grow about a foot tall and here they're up to three, three and a half, four foot tall easily there. And, they, and they're also spreading which is great and all sorts of things like those. And just looking in there, that's, uh, that grass is a bit of Timothy grass. I know that one. A little of a fly there. We did sow this with all sorts of wildflower seeds, uh, hay rattle being one of them. We put about 5,000 seeds in one plant came up, so uh, what all that was about. Last year we had many more poppies because we disturbed the ground. And uh, this year I've noticed one or two that have come up. I think this one's a, a hall hound. 
um, type of labiate. And this one is one that we've sown, or we've, we've put a plant in, and it's um, spread by seed since then. It's the um, the musk mallow. It's um, different to the common mallow that grows all over the place here. And there's a little bee on that. He's quite enjoying it. Been very few bees this year. One or two um, bumblebees. Nothing like the normal amount we get. And uh, I'm putting it down to the. Uh, the horribly cold spring that the uh, the Met Office said it's been the warmest spring ever. Um, I think they made that up the year before, and uh, they were surprised when um, everyone noticed that it wasn't the warmest spring ever because it was so cold and so wet. So they didn't get away with that one, trying to scare us with these uh, net zero myths. No, oh, as a Aaron's rod that's still still growing there. There's still flowers to come on that. It's brilliant. I've taken the odd um, big thistle out that have got, that has gone to seed in this because we don't really want the whole thing taken over by thistle. So uh, we may call it a wildflower meadow, but it's slightly managed. And uh, look down here, there's a little uh, pink, some sort of. Carafalaceae. It's probably from one of our um, butterfly mixes or wildflower seed mixes. And here we've got a teasel that's uh, in flower. You see a lovely ring of purple flowers around that. And coming back up this way, I'm hoping that wind's not catching the mic too much. Uh, we get here we can see the, um, the chicory. Has done very well this year. Gets blown over, so it's quite a tall plant. But, uh, this is what our um, lettuces are uh, descended from, bred from. And here's one. Much closer, we can have a better look at this one. Lovely flowers on that. And again, the butterflies and bees love it. Here's a bee here. And it's a honeybee. Uh, excellent. What we'll do this year, we'll um, cut this down in about October time when things have seeded and uh, take it from there. That's about it, we've gone full circle. And I'll end it there, as the dogs next door have heard me and they'll start to go off. So thank you all for watching and I hope you enjoyed our little meadow.